Welcome. Here's a cute puzzle. Ten students sit in a circle. Here they are as green dots. And their ages have the amazing property that the age of any one person in the circle turns out to be the perfect average of the ages of her two immediate neighbours. I tell you, Betty is in the circle, and she's 15 years old. The question is, how old is Jake? Jake is also in the circle, by the way. All right, so that's the puzzle. And I'll let you think about that, because I'm about to give away the answer. You might want to pause. So think about that, see if you can, see if you can answer the question. I mean, you could do some meta reasoning. I, you, I guess you have to assume, since we don't know where Jake is, um, it's going to be independent of where he sits in the circle. And since 15 is the only number mentioned, uh, Jake's probably going to be 15. Uh, so I guess the real puzzle is, if, given that sort of analysis, why would everyone in that circle have to have the same age of 15, same age as Betty, if, their average is a, uh, if each age is the average of the two neighbors? All right, so maybe pause, think about that, because here comes the answer. All right, let's think about it. So Betty has a neighbor. Here's a neighbor, Josephine. If, a Joseph, if Josephine is older or younger, the analysis is going to be the same. I'll just go with older, say maybe she's 17 and a half. That means uh, 17 and a half is the average of a smaller number than it and something else, which means that her neighbor has to be a bigger age. In order for 17 and a half to be the average of something smaller than it, it has to be balanced with something bigger than it. So that means as I go around from Josephine, I've gone up an age, I've gone up an age again. All right, now look at, look at this, this person here. She has an age that's the average of her two neighbors. Well, one of her neighbors has a smaller age, which means her other neighbor better have a bigger age. So again, the age is increasing as I go around the circle. If I keep doing this, I can argue that each person's age is balanced and averaged by a smaller one and a bigger one. So as I walk around the circle, the kids' ages must be increasing. So I have an increasing sequence of ages that somehow magically returns back to being 15 again. That's impossible. Josephine can't be older. By the same token, she can't be younger. She can't be 14. Because 14, to be the average of two neighbors, has to be average something slightly bigger than 14 and something smaller than 14. So I'll have a decreasing sequence going around. I'd have to argue a decreasing sequence cannot return to being 15 again. Impossible. The only way out of this pickle is everyone has the same age, age 15. Um, those that like algebra might want to think about this way. Um, let's make this a little cleaner. This is a mess right now. Do, 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 do. A little bit cleaner, as I said. Here goes. All right, so this is 15. So let's call the neighbors 15, age 15 plus x. Where x could be a positive number, could be a negative number. Maybe it's zero. Maybe we can prove it's zero. Uh, in order for 15 plus x to be the average of 15 and something else, one can check this better be 15 plus 2x. And that actually makes sense, because if this number's the middle of two other numbers, that's x units down. That better be x units up. Which means you can check the next age has to be 15 plus 3x in order for this to be the average of something that's x down, this number better be x up, and so on. This must be 15 plus 4x, all the way around, all the way around, you go all the way around back to here, which must be 15 plus 10x. But the only way 15 plus 10x to equal, is to equal 15 is if x is 0 and everyone has the same age. All right, so this is sort of the more algebraic way of doing it, but if you just sort of use your reasoning about uh, ages either increasing or decreasing, it follows that way as well. Uh, for the third puzzle I'm about to give, I'll give you a second one in a moment, but the third one, maybe the algebraic approach is the best way to go because I'm about to add a couple of twists. So that's just why I wanted to mention it now. All right, so let's, let me clear the screen and let's, let's play with a couple of variations. Suppose instead of everyone being the same age as her two immediate neighbors, suppose the ages of these kids has the property that the age of any one student is the average of the two people two places away. That is, Betty's age is the average of her neighbors two places to the left and the person two pages to the right. This person's age is the average of two places to the left, two places to the right. Whoops, <laughs> this is not two places to the right, silly me. Uh, two places to the right. And, you know, this person's age is the average of two places to the left and two places to the right. Well, now if I tell you again that Betty is 15, must Jake be 15 as well in that situation? If everyone has age average of two neighbors to the left and right? All right, that one's not too bad. I'll let you think about it. But here's the one that's really juicy, a really juicy puzzle. Suppose I mix up the whole, the, the two examples that I just gave, where everyone was like one distance away and two distances away. Suppose the kids in this circle have the property, the age of any one person is the average of the neighbor one place to the left and the neighbor two places to the right. For example, this person's age is the average of one place to the left and two places to the right. And this person's age is the average of one place to the left and two places to the right. So my question is, 
In this scenario, um, if Betty is 15, must everyone in that circle again be 15? Good luck proving that one. That one's got some meat to it. Or maybe it's not true. Maybe finding a counterexample is actually possible, which has meat to it as well. All right, have fun. Thanks very much.